Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I was asked some time ago, quite long ago actually, to share some tips, some tricks, maybe some ideas what I use when I'm building. And to keep in mind that I have given up from the regular speed build videos. I don't do, you know, going back to going into build mode and just start deleting stuff and re you know. I don't record the whole process anymore. Either I have a camera tour, which is me going through... Uh, I can put a link here basically of the idea of what I mean by a camera tour. And just showing off the lot instead of showing how I build it. Because that means that I can reduce the video time alone by 10 times. Easy. From 20 to 30 minutes. I have reduced my videos down to three to five, six minutes, which means it's a massive difference to someone who has a busy life, has a lot of YouTubers to watch, or, you know, wants to support but don't have all the time in the world. And I'm not the one who gives speed build speakovers either. I, I don't speak onto my videos. Only places I speak onto my videos is my Let's Plays, or right now. On this guide or whatever video you can call this. I, I don't even know what I'm calling it yet. I have a little bit of sore throat so I'm sorry if I keep clearing my throat. It's unintentional. Uh, but what I'm gonna start with I suppose is to list up the mod, the camera mod that I'm using. I can't remember it out of my mind right now but I'll put it on the screen somewhere here. And then I will be listing up the hotkeys that I will be using as we go through them. But right now, without the camera mod, you can go into cam tour style camera with pressing tab. And that'll give us a free reign of a camera here to go anywhere we want. And just, you know, we, we can go... Uh, I'm gonna press shift and then W to go a little bit faster. We can take a look at the neighborhood actually. Like we, we can just turn around and look around like, oh my God, there's some glitchiness here. And then we can just with the mouse, I'm turning the camera. I don't need to do anything else. Oh, the road just ends there. Wow. I haven't really played on this neighborhood apparently. Hmm, that is that. But with the shift pressed on the bottom, you can also press Q. That goes down, and E, that goes up. With a W, go forward, A to left, D to right, and S to back. So W, A, S, D are your movement keys. And if you go up with a Q, uh, E, or go down with a Q. And with a shift, you can indeed speed up the process of going somewhere. The higher you go, the faster you go, and you will lose yourself. So we are going to reset ourselves, click on uh, Mrs. Uh, Pancakes here, so we can find her in the house. We can then... I'm going to use my hotkeys that I use, not going to tell you that yet. And then return to this neighborhood here, instead of losing ourselves along the border somewhere there. What I usually do is just pick up a spot, like this. This is wonderful. This is middle of the road. This is where I could put my camera tour to start with. And that is how I press Ctrl and 5. And number 5 on top of your letters, not the numpad. Okay? For some reason the numpad doesn't recognize it because your speed, the game speed, is recognized with those numbers. If I press 1, two, three, four is not anything, and a zero is zero, even on top of the uh, letters. But for some reason the keyboard from five till nine is not recognized with this tab grammar. So I press the tab again, and I'm pressing the five, and I will return to the spot where I originally were. Now we can find another spot to move the camera to. So I'm yet again trying to press shift and be faster, but because we are so close to the ground, it doesn't want to be as fast. 
this sound this seems like a good spot to go to i don't know my my eye says it's great so we are gonna press control uh, control again and a six so now we press a five and you can see the camera move and then you press the six and you're like oh my goodness it goes forward to the spot where i wanted it to then next step is to move to the pancake house and i think we are gonna set up here and we are gonna be pressing control and then seven so if i press five it'll reset me all the way to the back where i started i press a six and with the lag it sometimes lags it's it's nothing we can do about it it just happens you just need to re-record re that point and then from the fifth spot, you, uh, first spot, you... What am I trying to say? Oh my goodness. From the original, the first spot, the five, you will press then six. And then you will press seven. And we are going through the tree. That's not exactly what I would want to happen. So we are going to try and set it up so that we come, for example, here. Like we appear here. So I've got to replace that 7 spot with a control and 7 again. So we can go back to the 6. And we can see already that there's not as much tree in between. There's some leaves, but we can live with that, right? Okay. So basically, this is how I go through the whole build with this camera. And sometimes when it comes to upstairs, it's pretty awkward, especially with this build. Like they, their house, for some reason, is such a pain in the butt to try and navigate because it, it, it's like an old townhouse. Like there's no, no space here with the camera. So what you can do is with a mouse scroll wheel to zoom out or zoom in. And all right, amazing. Wow, no one has ever done this before, right? But what it does is that if we put this as a... Um, first camera point, which is a 5, we can then go here, we can zoom out probably somewhere here, and control 6 here, and we go into the 5 again, and we can see that, okay, we're at the door, okay, and then we can go here, and whoa, it zoomed out in here, I uh, know, right? If you're in this mod, uh, like, in this spot, you can zoom out or zoom in you can decide if you want more of an area view or more very precise shot on something so we can put this as a control seven so let's start from the door again we pressed five we are going to press a six we are zoomed out here and then we are going to zoom out onto the seven i know right quite so that's how the camera basically works and the sim supply has such a good guide and that is what I started to use it with the camera with his guide so go and watch that honestly it's it's so good it's old as anything it's probably like five five years old now six five five years I don't know many years old video now but it's still spot on okay so go and watch that but that's the how I go through the whole build with the cinematic camera okay and then I could go into the build mode, which I do not actually use this button. I use a F2. It goes straight into the build mode. Also, what I do is to get rid of the grid, which by default is a letter G. Also, I should probably point out that I use, uh, is the, yeah, I use Sims 3 camera. I don't use the 4. I, I just couldn't play with the Sims 4 camera. It was hideous. Good as to you, if you do, I can't, I can't do it. So, G with the crit off, crit on. And then I see people a lot using these buttons. Bit, uh, like uh, going upper or down on the floor. When you could actually speed up your own process of building. Let's go to here, for example, right now. And I could easily... If I wanted to put up any plant right now, I don't have a move objects on, so I can't put it everywhere. But if I was outside doing, you know, like a gardening here, and I was like, oh man, I really want to put this flower somewhere. Like it 
dude, this is so dope. I want to put it somewhere. So I'm just gonna go pitch down, pitch down, and I could put it in the middle of the dining table right there. And then I could go pitch up, pitch up, and I would still have the free, mouse free here. I wouldn't need to go the effort, and then I would need to move the camera anyway. When I could be already at the area above to see, right? So much faster. Then there is this walls up view. And we need to go one level down now. So we can actually see what it does when I'm pressing button end. And again, we have no walls now. This is how I usually play with walls down. This is not how I know how to play, and this is absolutely impossible for me. So when I build, I do use these walls up. But then I aim from the above, like so, and I can zoom. I want to put, let's say, I don't know, uh, do they have toilet paper roll? They do, but it's a freaking high, okay? So I can just zoom in here with the mouse wheel button. I can press, um, I don't know what this button is actually for you guys, I need to look it up, but for me it's an alt. So with an alt, I can aim it into a better spot. Okay? Now it's more humane, it doesn't need to be, you know, on your head height. You can actually put it in, like, even better spot. Like, does that make more sense to some of you? I, I do not know. But with the alt... On my keyboard, I can place items as I want. And with the mouse wheel, I can go back and forth to zoom in, zoom out, to be sure that things are on an appropriate level. I mean, what's the difference if you have an item on appropriate level or on too high? How many of you in your real life have a hang hanging like thing that high? How many of you are that tall? I'm not. I'm a pretty short person. I need to have my hanging hangers pretty high, uh, low. I can't have my husband all the time coming to me and picking up stuff for me. <laughs> and let's be honest here. Sims can't even use this, so it doesn't matter much. But if you want to give good visual pictures of what you have done, let's go with the tab camera again. And here we are in the room right now. So with the tab, you can zoom into the room. With the mouse, you can either focus a very specific spot, or you can zoom out and show as much as you can possibly show. Like this would be probably a very good picture to show up that I have a bathroom. I have built a bathroom. Look at it. It's awesome. It's pink and whatever, base game only, you know? Uh, with the walls down, you need to press home button to pre get them up again. The uh, end is down, home is up. One cheat that I recommend using a lot is... Uh, let's open the cheat menu with the control shift C. And this white box opens and you go BB. Move objects on and press enter. And now move object cheat is on, which means... If we go and pick up a bench or whatever, we can actually place it inside the table, if we so want to. But because we are in The Sims, you shouldn't, because then it means that the table is unusable and no one is going to sit on the love seat either. So what I mean with this cheat is that you can make sure that you can put things in places where they sometimes wouldn't be able to be in an angle, for example, a little bit, like, let's take a flower, let's take, I don't know, this one maybe. And uh, let's say we could put it in front of the door, we could in put it inside the door, but I'm gonna put it here, a little bit of an angle. This item never can have something intersecting onto these two first scores. But now with the move objects, it can. We can actually use our little scythe savior Life savior. What did I say? I'm not sure. And have some, like, you know, beautiful things in front of it. It doesn't need to be 
boring and dull. It can actually be, you know, decorated. It doesn't need to be the only thing showing up on the wall like, yo, I take this whole space and I don't care. But we can actually use this space and with an alt again, I'm like squishing an arm out. And even here, I use the shift to get them outside the grid. Because if I fix that, they kind of like go only on certain spots. I can't get it closer to the wall without the shift, uh, without the alt. And here, I can't get it into here without the alt. So I do need to use the key a little bit to shift things around. And also you saw me uh, putting thing up. This is another thing. With a with the Nordic keyboard, I have completely different buttons that I need to use. But I will find out what they are for you. But uh, let's find something that... Something that, that, that we could... Um, mirrors are a good idea. Mirrors are really good. Like, they sometimes are in a height that doesn't make any sense. We can't lower the mirrors, but we can level them up. We can get them up, 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 as up we want. But we can only put them as low as they start level at. So, here's a few examples. And then... I can lift this up. There we go. I can lift this up. And I can lift this up. But I can't put them lower than this level. And with the Ctrl C, we're gonna go backwards and delete all these. Which is very vital for our time lapse videos, but I'll come to that on other video, not today. And then we can size things. Uh, let's take like uh, this teeny tiny painting. It's pretty cute, but sometimes you wish you would be able to grow this size, right? If you're building a starter home, you want to put a beautiful little painting on the hallway or whatever. Where do we have space? We have space here. And the original size is this. It's not really beautiful, is it? It, it, it could be a little bit bigger. This would be a little nicer. This is a little bit too big. Possibly. Someone would could disagree with me. But what I do is I hold shift and with sizing up, my button that I need to use is a Swedish O. I know. Not everybody knows that the letter, right? And to make it smaller, I don't even know what to call this button, but I will find them out for you. Okay. And put them on the screen. But with this, with the alt again, I can place it anywhere I want. I could even make it smaller. I could make it the size of a stair and put it hanging on, like put it stand on a chair. Uh, with a tap camera again, we could look at it and be like, wow, it is clipping a little bit. I could have done a better job, but I didn't. So but you get the idea. You get the idea. We can control Z, go back. And another one, because we had a mirror on the kitchen wall. You have placed something that you didn't want. After all, you don't need to go and choose a sledgehammer. You can press a K. And press a K again. And you don't have a sledgehammer anymore. K, a sledgehammer. And a K again. And you don't have it. We also have a quick tool for design tool. If you want another colored cupboard, for example, instead. You can actually like press R. You don't like it. You can go Ctrl C, Ctrl C, Ctrl C. We also have eyedropper, which is to copy the item. And that is with the E. And we have the another table there. We want another chair. No problem. We another table. No problem. To, you can either press the E again. The reset so you have just this regular select tool or you can press a H if we are here and you have an item on your hand you don't need to go press this you can actually press on the keyboard H oh and turning you you don't need to use this I don't use this recording software that the game has itself 
so I don't really use this. I had to learn how to press my middle mouse button and rotate the camera or press, um, I don't even know what these are. This is a dot and a, I don't know what this other one is called in English. I'll put them up on the cam on the screen again for you. Um, you can keep the button hold down and the camera will keep rotating as long as the cam uh, game doesn't freak out. But my favorite is to press the middle mouse button of a mouse and then rotate because I can then zoom in and rotate at the same time. So cool. <laughs> The move objects is especially good with making some sort of landscaping. It lets you choose and snuck them together. You don't need to, you know, you can punch them up like this. You don't need to leave the huge gaps between each other like so. Okay. With that L, we can choose between the day cycle, move a lot and house. These are hotkeys as well. They're U and a Y, but I don't really use these hotkeys. They're pretty painful to work with. Right now, nothing else comes into mind exactly. So leave me some questions down below what you want to see next time. I'll try to edit this in a way that it makes actually sense. I've been jumping a little bit here and there and I must have forgotten something. But that's why I have the comment area down below so you can ask your questions and help. Okay, so thank you for watching today. Um, I'll see you in the next one, whichever video that is. Bye bye.